What's up everybody, Steve here, Rake and Profit, and I am headed to the Connecticut Thrifty Meetup, and guess what? I am taking you guys with me. So I'm actually in Southbury, Connecticut right now with Greg, the valet picker. What's up, YouTube? Who you may have seen on one of my latest videos. Great guy, Massachusetts, full-time eBay clothing seller, plus Amazon seller as well. But uh, we're headed to the meetup right now. We're hoping to have 20, 30 people show up. You never really know. But we're gonna be starting at the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store in Waterbury, making our way out through Danbury. And what's really cool is we ended up booking a, a hotel for all of the people who wanna stay the night. And we're gonna have a mastermind at night. It's gonna be a ton of fun. So I'm taking you guys along with me. Let's go. We are on the road. Let's go make some money. You ready? Let's go. So we got some people showing up to the thrift meetup so far. Imran from New York. We've got John from Philadelphia. Jeff from, I believe, New Hampshire. So just waiting. This is where we're going to be going in here. Red, white, and blue. So let's see how many people show up. So the Connecticut Thrifty Meetup is starting to get crazy. Bunch of people are showing up. Let's see, what's up, dude? What's up? I think I know you, man. What do you? What do you how do you feel about this meetup so far, man? You got some people showing up. It's gonna be pretty nasty today. You think there's gonna be money to be made? Oh, definitely money to be made. Elbows yeah. to be thrown. All right, we're going in, guys. Come on, get moving, Jared. <laughs> Everyone's going in, getting ready to thrift. You got to be careful with what you buy. I mean, this right here is selling for twenty, uh, yeah, twenty something, twenty four bucks, yeah. and it's thirteen bucks. They're charging thirteen dollars for a book. That's crazy, crazy. So you might think, oh, it's selling for twenty five, but I can buy it for twelve. There's money. Yeah. The fees on Amazon are so so high you'd only make like a dollar like probably nothing after shipping so i just found this crazy bike here they want 150 bucks for it but i have no idea what it is but if you take a look at the components dior xt is very very high end it's all around so i don't know for 150 bucks i'm not going to get this so check out what greg just found right now for 295 he found a pink Silver Edition TI-84, guys. There is money to be made. Are you happy about this, brother? Yeah. We got like 30 and above on eBay. Wow. So. Check it on Amazon. Oh, How you feeling? Good? Yeah. Yeah? Found some goodies? Yeah, oh, man. What? I found... This is a this cool... Is uh, yeah, 95 cents. So this is a cool special edition guitar. Um, goes for a hundred dollars on Amazon. Wow. Yeah, 95 cents. So <laughs> I'll grab it. Steve, where the car at, man? We need, we, need, we need to see that car up close and Yeah, that car ain't coming in Waterbury. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> What's up, Steve? You find any goodies in here, guys? Found a couple of good jeans. There's a LL Bean shirt. Oh, one. nice. So that's not bad. They go well on eBay. There's a crazy psychomaniac guy running around who doesn't like us filming, so I'm trying to be very careful. So, Buck, what did you just find here, man? So we got a Vineyard Vibes jacket. Yeah. Vineyard Vines, seven ninety five. It's a great deal, but oh. oh, we just found a Vineyard Vines, but it has a stupid embroidery which literally destroys the value. So Can, this can't that be taken out? It could, but time is money. Hey, show us that Robert Graham, brother. I'm trying to. <laughs> show it to me now. How much you think? It's probably going for eighty bucks on Poshmark. Nice, cool. Wow. I'll give you five. <laughs> so I didn't mean to do that. So here is the Connecticut thrifting meetup. How many people do you think are here? 30? Yeah? So we all found some stuff. All right, so we got a troublemaker telling everyone to go in right now when there's 10 people waiting. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to Goodwill right now. Gonna see if I get punched in the face by that guy. So we're here in Goodwill right now looking for some deals. Who do we got here? Axel, and we got... TJ. So we are walking around Goodwill right now looking for some deals. What's your name? Nicole Clute. And you are a CPA? Yes. You were just um, on the Thrifty Flamingo YouTube channel. Yes. So maybe we can get you on my channel sometime oh, yeah. and That'd talk. Great. I would love to connect with you. And we have a troublemaker slash lawyer here. Hi, <laughs> Melanie Dunn. I'm Sienna Aker on Poshmark. Awesome, cool. So Jesse, what are you looking at over here, brother? I'm looking through some of the DVDs just because I like looking at the box sets. Are you restricted in DVDs? I am, but I'll scan them in. That's not really going for too, too much, but if I see a crazy number, eBay then, it? then I'll check it on eBay. Oh, yeah. cool. So it, it's, you know, it speeds it up, scan it on Amazon. If it's worth it, check eBay. Nice. Not, right? TJ, what do you got? Anything in your basket? Just one book. What's, to believe. what's the value of that? 
it's a dollar. Make the lowest is coming in at four fifty three, so I make okay. like three bucks. But the thing more. with books is, you know, some people they won't mess with like antiques or like toys if it's two or three bucks on eBay because it takes a lot. But with books, you just ship them all off, right? Yeah. It's scalable. I always, I don't know if it's a waste of time, but every used item I take a picture of and upload it. I don't know if I'm wasting my time or not, but. Might speed up sales a little bit. You do yeah, that with so books like also? Yeah, yeah. Really? I mean, it takes so next to every item? Every item, every used item. What do we got here, Greg? He's asking me about this uh, Polo Golf. Polo Golf? Yeah. It's bright. We yeah. do have spring yeah. coming up here in New England. What are your thoughts? What do they want for it? Uh, I don't know. Is that the red tag? Yeah, shorts are about $4. $4. So yep. for 4 bucks, what are your thoughts? I personally wouldn't because it's only a small profit margin, I think. Yeah, because yeah. what's that worth? 15, 20 bucks Something maybe? Like we're already Five bucks, six, six bucks to ship? Yeah, we're already talking about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's not no goal. I'm yeah. at it now, like 16. So, what'd you find here? I found a Laurel Birch, um, the artist Laurel Birch yeah. a bag, a canvas bag, and she makes mugs and other artworks, ceramics usually, but I've never seen a bag. So, yeah, it's really unique. You cool. like that? I do like it. Yeah. What it do has you, a little horsey. So what do you think the value of That's something cool. like this is? I was looking up comps and it's selling for anywhere from 25 to 40. Mm. And they're asking... Wow. And they're asking... I can't find the price. I know. I can't find the price. What is that? Either. It might be $14. I don't know if that SR14, I think that's some type of code. I think 14 but it could be... I might still get it for that. Yeah. Even. So Kristen, what is this right here? A Mr. Coffee carafe for a smaller size four cup coffee maker, and people, people break, break them, them yeah. all the time. So, in fact, I just broke one a month ago. That's a nice white white top too. What do you think the value of something like that would be? Um, anywhere from fifteen to twenty five dollars. And they are the, asking how much? I don't know. Oh, two dollars. Oh, two dollars. So that's pretty good. So we have Jeff here. What's going on, man? We've been kind of following each other for a while now. I'm an OG uh, green room. <laughs> yeah, cool, awesome. What do you got in your in your cart? Got some VHS, sealed VHS still sells. I think this goes for um, 25 on Amazon. Wow, two bucks to 25. Very, very cool, man. How'd you do it at the first place? First place was pretty good. I got um, some floppy disks yep. hiding in the toy section, 10 pack for 30 bucks. Oh, nice. Very cool, man. And. Um, you're from New Hampshire. New Hampshire, awesome, and you came all the way out to Connecticut. Yep, I'm a full-time reseller now, so I've got the time. Oh, but he just quit his job. Goodbye. Goodbye, J-O-B. <laughs> J-O-B. <laughs> and now we're taking a look at this thing. So we're trying to figure out if this is 90s or not. What are your thoughts based on the color scheme? Yeah. It's colors, like a wannabe. Color, yeah, the, the design looks 90s, but I'm not sure yeah. if the colors are 90s. Jay, what do you think, man? Do you think this is from the 90s right here, or do you think it's... Yeah, it looks vintage. I don't know. Let us know in the comments, guys, what your thoughts are on this. But it's uh, eight bucks. I'm not gonna buy it just with shipping and everything. Plus, I'm trying to cut down on my caffeine. This has got to be like 25 cups of coffee. Oh, it's a it's thermos like, too. That's yeah, it's a thermos, right, dude. How did you do? How did you do at uh, the first place? Red, white, and blue. We did pretty good. We spent 100 bucks. We'll probably make like five, 600 bucks off of that. You found that Robert Graham. Found the Robert Graham. We found a couple snatched of it right up in front of Jerry. <laughs> Played Jerry. Do Jerry. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a picture of Jerry up right here. This was Jerry's face when he found out what uh, I've got. I've got to get a picture of Jerry today. But uh, man, you killed it over there yeah, with that. Yeah, we found uh, some Superman Converse. Yeah. Karen found Ragged Bone and Paige. Yeah, she's right over here. Actually, she's coming Where? around. Really? Yes, I did. We're talking about the success that you guys had at the Goodwill. Yeah. The right way, yeah. 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 Cool. What do you What do you got in your? Nothing. We just got here. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. We just. What do you guys think of this right here? Believe in your dreams. We got Jason right now filming. Do you believe in your dreams? I definitely believe in my dreams. Ask she believes in her dreams. Yes. Believe in your dreams, man. Yes. Believe in you'll achieve. Catch. Let me know. <laughs> uh, you knew that I wasn't gonna throw it, huh? <laughs> This is cool, that, <clears throat> that is pretty cool. I like to surround myself with like positivity. Oh, stuff. definitely. That's a great thing to do. It's really easy to get caught up in negativity. So, I don't know. I don't love the text, and it's not really centered very well. <laughs> so, well, what do you, think, you know where you're at. So, the person who created this, I don't think they believe in their dreams. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, you guys ready to go? Ready. 
So we're actually skipping one on the schedule and we're going to the fourth one. Jess, Jesse, which one are we going to? We're going to Goodwill, Oxford, Connecticut. Oxford, Connecticut. So <laughs> it's about an hour and a half down the road. <laughs> yeah, so 274 Oxford Road. <laughs> So I am here with Kristen and we are driving to the Oxford Goodwill and I'll tell you right now, she has missed over two to three exits. We are 40 minutes late. No, Because we're... of your horrible navigation skills. Yeah. We've gone to two thrift stores so far. No, two? No, one, two. two. Yeah, two thrift stores so far. We're going to our third one. We're going to our Goodwill. People are um, doing pretty well. I know you found a couple items. Yes, I did. So we're at the third Goodwill, and you looked, you appear to have an interesting book. I'm not sure, though. It's kind of high rank. We're going to analyze this together? Yeah. What would you do? Okay, so let's take a look. So right now, 3.5 million rank, extremely high. One review. So that's sketchy plus True. sketchy. What happens when you put sketchy plus sketchy together? What do you get? Ultra sketchy. So super high rank, super crappy reviews. Well, not crappy, but just only one. Yeah. And oh my goodness, that's from like high there's 15 merchants at 18 and then three at 19. So that's a good sign. But it's only a $9 profit minus what's the... It's a dollar, so... You so. could potentially make eight bucks, but odds are this is probably never going to sell. It could sell. I was thinking maybe just Merchant doing it, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, but the rank is so high, so I mean... Probably pass. Some people would do it, some wouldn't. I know there's going to be people watching saying, Steve, and, and this get highlight it. Too. So, i probably pass. I mean, at the end of the day, you're not going to get hurt either way. There's definitely more of an upside. You know, one to eight bucks. Mostly in like the first I mean, chapter. Or two. Yeah, I'd probably sell it acceptable with, with it with being that much highlighting. Yeah. But uh, it's heavy too. That's going to cost you maybe 75 cents, 50 to yeah. you know a dollar to ship, and then storage fees. So probably I'm pass pick on this it. chair up. Oh, <laughs> hey man, one dollar for the chair. The FBA. FBA that chair right there, brother. <laughs> Kristen is still in the show. What do you got here? This is a uh, hand painted Imari. Uh, ceramic which is from Japan and um, some of them are not hand painted they have a just a laid over thing but this is so it's worth more and um, I have another one I'm not sure if this is for tea or whatever it's probably a tea jar or a ginger jar and um, so I'm gonna see what this is gonna go for the prices are all over the place nice. you, make her an offer right now I'll give you 30 bucks for it. That's probably what I was going to try to get. Isn't that funny? What's this right here? VCR. Um, oh, sweet. Yeah, you got to look Amazon. for a lot of things. I love this. how it's all complete. That's why I got it. Because it's yeah. complete. Most of them don't come with the remote. So, and they don't, I don't even know what these cords what are. Would you s what would you sell that Emerson for? Uh, 75. 75 bucks? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Just regular cable cords. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to tell The old school things. cable cords, yeah. Now, yeah. Jerry, why didn't you pick that up, brother? About to right now, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> How are you enjoying the day so far? It's great so yeah? far. Yeah, all right. Lots of dresses. Thanks for coming out. Sure. Well, lots of dresses for Poshmark? I know eBay. eBay? Yep. Have these guys tried to convince you to get into Poshmark? I'm on Poshmark. Okay. I'm not as good as they are. Yeah. Well, I don't think anybody is as good yeah, as these guys. <laughs> this is like the Poshmark All Star team right here, the Hall of Fame. You guys even resell? So we're walking around and Jason just found what? Counterfeit true religions for eighteen ninety. And how do we know that they're counterfeit? Uh, first off, look at the size of the patch on the back. It's huge. Here's my fist. It's a big. Yeah, it's a big yeah. patch. And then um, Karen was just opening this up. She opened up this tag in the back here. She tried. To, she did it with my glasses, but she found out that it was printed and not sewn in. Where? The logo. So it's actually oh. printed on there, and that's another telltale sign. I think I'm gonna. I'm up in the air about this old Northwestern jacket. I know it's probably 70s because they changed their colors. Oh yeah, look 80s. at that. Yeah. They changed their colors to purple, so. What do you think the value of that might be? Man, hopefully get 30 bucks for it. 30 bucks? Yeah. Cool. Where are you from again, Buck? I'm from Naugatuck. Naugatuck yeah. in the house, man. Cool. Anything else cool to share? I got a new YouTube channel. N new YouTube yeah, channel? New What's YouTube a YouTube channel? channel? Thrifting for a buck. Thrifting for new a buck? YouTube I'm gonna channel. link that right. Like one month ago. Right here, guys. Yeah. How many vids you got over there? Man, I got about three or four, I think, up right now. I need some views. You guys, let's. How many subscribers you have? 11. 11. Let's hit 100, guys. Do me a big and favor, guys. I think I guys. know all 11 of them. Check so. them out. Okay, please. Go here right now. Pause the video. Go subscribe, okay? Right now. Go, 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 go. So we're getting ready to go to our last thrift store. Look at all these hustlers. 
Did you pass on that book or not? I did. You, you did? Well, she charged me three something for it. Uh, they're crazy over here with some of the books. Yeah, so. well, I'm from their 97 cents. Oh, really? Jeez. I like where you're from. <laughs> All right, so this is the last Goodwill in which we are going into today. What do you got here, man? What do you got right now? It's a melting pot. A melting pot, 100 bucks? Yeah, it's wow. Sold on eBay. You can't make money reselling, man. Those are eBay sold. eBay sold. Ooh, that looks good, man. Awesome. Dude, no fine. You are on way. fire. And who we got over here, man? This is Jay. Jay. AKA the Flippin' Picker. Here. Yeah, he's got a YouTube I'm a channel. Bit late. My hands are empty, but I'm here with all the guys, and it's and it's awesome. I'm going to link up your YouTube channel right now. How many subs you got, man? Uh, I'm still under 100. So. Under 100, man. Let's get him over a couple hundred right in this video. And what type of videos do you, do you usually create? Uh, I do a lot of the, the common stuff that you see a lot of these guys doing. You know, yeah. I just talk about my experience um, kind of starting out. I've been doing it a while, but I'm um, looking to really blow it up and uh, really make some real money. So it's just about my journey. Um, yeah. Coming out, finding stuff, and, and flipping it oh, for big profit. Dude, I love it, man. And if you guys haven't checked out his channel, he has a video where he shares, like, because you just moved from New York. Yeah, New York to Connecticut. Over to Connecticut. And you've got your little uh, kind of like warehouse space going on upstairs. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, the picker's lair, I like to call it. Yeah, I'm gonna link to that video, guys. You gotta watch and subscribe to him. <laughs> Dan, I so Buck just found uh, some Allen Edmonds right here. Check this out. Look at the soles, beautiful. And these are Oak Street Allen Edmonds. What do you think they're gonna go for? Hopefully around the hundred. Hundred bucks, man. Yeah, cool. Very nice. Pendleton. Does it have the leather elbow patches? No. Damn. Ten bucks. What are you gonna shoot for? Like 30, 25? Uh, yeah, for 70 bucks. 70 bucks. 70? Really? The really? The are table. these Sir Pendletons? No. I'm no. Bottom together, get 70. Nice. What do you think on that man? You get your arms crossed. You don't like his decision, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we guys? Tell them. Where are we? Wagon McFly's. For the second time in a row. Second time in a row. So we're all walking up. Wow, this is close. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're hungry. <laughs> Grub. Need nourishment. I have to come down. You hungry, brother? Oh, I'm starving. Okay. Hey, guess what I'm doing? I'm on the phone. I, I, I'm trying to micromanage 400 messages. So we got a bunch of people here at the meetup. I mean, we are locked and loaded over here. How many people do you think we got, Katie, at this meetup? At least 25. 25 people starving right now, okay? Hey, what's going on, everybody? So it's actually the next day. I just got home from the Connecticut thrifting meetup, and I realized I forgot to shoot a closing clip, and that's because I ran out of memory. So I wanted to shoot this to thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully this video motivated and inspired you. I wanted to let you guys know if you ever want to come to one of these Connecticut thrifting meetups, if you're in the New England area, I'm going to put a link to our free Facebook group down below. Join it and we'll probably have another one of these meetups in the next couple of months. But it was so much fun. Thank you a million for watching this video. And if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to drop a comment down below. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video and keep up making it up money. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.